told him it's some real money in the room. At what point did you meet the main music? Uh, we've been knowing each other since like fifth, sixth grade type shit. Did, did all the rappers kind of know each other before? Yeah, the, before the we got on. Yeah, because, like I said, that be so small, so everybody know everybody. I've been knowing every every last that from that who done got a name or got big, and then, you know what I'm saying. I know every rapper. Like if you from that. I gotta know you, you gotta know me. That's just how it is, cause it's so small. We all went to school together. If we from the same generation or era, or you went to school with my people, or I, I just, I seen your come up, you know what I'm saying? So, cause we there. Yeah. Were, were y'all making music, conglomerately? Like when, back then? Yeah, back then, I remember. Did he just say conglomerately? What does that mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you just watch and pay attention, you can see, like, Young Boy was with G Money at one point. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He used to be in the studio with us, too. Yeah. Like, he used to, like, when I first met him, he was in the studio with Scotty. Scotty Kane he used to be in the studio with him. He was about to sign with him. Now he was from whatever. New Orleans, though, huh? Scotty Kane? Uh uh. He from BR, too. I've been knowing him since I was, like, 13. I'm oh. telling you, like, like since I was the porch, like, when yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? I've been knowing him. Shit, like, that. So small, bro, everybody know everybody. It's just, the fame really f***ed our shit up. When that started to get a spotlight, everybody wanted to be that So it was like, we all fighting for it, like crabs in a bucket, trying to climb to the top, pull mm -hmm. each other down. Like, I can know this I know, I know this all this history or whatever. He do one thing that I, I, ain't, I ain't all the way agreeing with, so just tearing this man down just like that's how it just started to be like we were trying to tear each other down to reach the top type shit, for real like that's how it became like i say when we really got the spotlight when say cheese started posting baton rouge like one of the top cities did like of the year i don't remember what year it was it probably was like 2016 i think yeah, about 2016 the show like when baton rouge had that buzz buzz like everybody was just looking into it like that shit kind of my sit up, bro. That shit responsible for a lot of murders, a lot of shit. You know? well, 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 you can't say that that's when the spotlight started because you had Boosie, Kevin Nah, Gates. I'm talking about the new generation, like mm -hmm. this, the new wave. Like, them do. they been, you know what I'm saying? Okay. They been, been, been on some other shit. I'm talking about, like, for the Say Cheese, like, the new generation, like, when they started posting, like, when Boosie and them was coming up, they ain't have Say Cheese and none of that shit. Like, right. and they wouldn't, but say cheese and them wasn't really promoting that. They was promoting like the up and coming from Baton Rouge around that time right. of the they year. Were, like, and they was artists. like, yeah, and they was like, this gonna be one of the biggest years for Baton Rouge, like as a city, like a whole, like our sound for the buzz and like, you know what I'm saying? And they was right. Cause you got niggas who came up like from that time and really kept going up and keep going up. You know what I'm saying? So they was right. When did you see that impact of the blogs really just start to hit the mentality. And you, you hear about it a lot with Chicago and academics, you know what I'm saying? And people kind of blame him a lot for putting that light, I guess, and you know, he was doing some other stuff too. But with Baton Rouge, like how, how was it, I guess, for y'all specifically? That's what I'm telling you, like when, when Say Cheese started chiming in and, and putting that spotlight on it, that's when it got bad. I ain't gonna blame Say Cheese though, it was asking for this kind of spotlight. Like, you got to think about it. This is a city where don't nobody make it out. Like, nobody, for real. Like, the, it was boosted, then it was really nothing. Like, Gates had popped off after boosted, but it took Gates so long to get on. It took boosted so long. Like, them niggas been, been, you know, it took us, me and man, it took us so long to get just certified as an artist and so talented and got so much music put out. I just feel like, you know, it, you gotta just think, this is a city who we don't really get no shine, we don't really get too much. So when you put that on a nigga like that and put these cameras and this light on it, it's just gonna go crazy and like beg for more and more attention. And that's what it became, like through the beef and shit. That's why I feel like a lot of shit started. Yeah. To be real, it all started behind that. It behind ain't no music. other reason. Yeah, yeah, it ain't no other reason, like to me. Yeah, usually there's a female somewhere. Yeah, them hoes always play a big part, but. Hoes, another thing with attention. It was just all about the all the attention. I wanted all the hoes to be watching. Right. <laughs> right. Watching our campaign. So, all right, y'all, y'all think that bro, man, 
that I'm living like that more hard. I'm I've been thugging before him. He so I know this about his that's background. Exactly I know this, and that's, that's when the tear down oh. came about. You know right. what I'm saying? Wait, wait, for the wait, attention, so. for whoever watching. Right. That's for crazy. Real. No, just so. At some point, you signed with Master P. You know what I'm saying? Um, how how was that? That was situation? before I. That was like really rewinding still, cause that was before I took off. I went with P. P. He was cool people, good businessman, and shit like that. But it wasn't. It wasn't me. I couldn't like. I couldn't really brand with they brand like that. Like what you mean? The tank shit, the camouflage, oh, the no, no limit. limit. It oh, you was me. with No Limit. It wasn't like they wasn't letting you kind of do like independent nah, things. Nah, they wasn't letting was me. It was up. No Limit. And P still wanted to rap and be like, he wanted to be relevant still and shit. Right. And I, I was feeling like it just wasn't the time for him no more. Like, you right. know what I'm saying? I feel like he should have just pushed the young niggas yeah. and yeah. kept it kicking. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he probably looking at Birdman or some shit like that. And right, right. How Birdman Man, be, keep yeah. his way around. But Birdman always, he might pop his little shit on the intro and y'all let niggas take it away. <laughs> right. But I'm gonna follow y'all niggas wave. I'm gonna right, follow right. y'all swag. Yeah, yeah. Nobody really gonna... looks at Birdman like a yeah. rapper. We still yeah, respect we him still... as a boss. You know right. what I'm saying? But Birdman ain't like, man, y'all gonna put this on. Y'all gonna put on these Birdman shirts and this and that. Like, P was on some. Y'all gonna put this No Limit shit on. <laughs> camouflage. Like, he was still stuck in his way. So I was yeah. like, I'm looking at it like, oh, man. Ah, it's Master P, bro. Okay, I'm gonna do it. But I knew in my mind, like, this ain't right. This ain't the vision I got for myself, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Right, right. And what I want to do, what I want paint, the, the picture I want to paint to the people, like, nah, this ain't it. Uh, oh, how, how long did the P situation last? I was fucking with P for like two years, then I went, really a year. I was with him for a year, then I went to jail, I did three years, I came home, oh, okay. and I brought Maine with me out there, and we tried to. Oh, so Maine wasn't on first, it was you? Yeah, it was me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've been been buzzing on some shit. I took Maine in on some shit and we got together and started like we came like took that shit to another level. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, I was I was on um, with no limit for a little while, did my jokes, came home and I told Pete like, bro, What's I ain't your jokes? Like the bid, my time. Oh, okay. the three years. Oh, we yeah. that's some shit we say in Louisiana. I know Joseph and that mean you joking. Yeah, you joking, but joking can also mean like you you land like you going do time or right, some shit. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So yeah, that shit. You got two different. Joseph, yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, um. So I came home and I told P like I ain't coming back out there unless you bring Maine too. Like Maine gotta have a flight too, and y'all with him. And as soon as I broke Maine out there to P, he fell in love with him. He told him he remind him of Soldier Slim and shit. Mm -hmm. So that's what a lot of that came from too with me like oh i'ma tap into that soda slim flow shit. but you know soda slim always been like a legend of louisiana period yeah, like we always right, right. yeah man. What, what was it about slim he just the realest bro he yeah. like he really rapping everything he living the way he get to he gonna get to the raw then he ain't holding nothing back like at one point he dis p when he you know yeah, yeah. And all he ain't give a f right. you know what i'm saying he was really standing on business so like it just love that type of shit where we from like right. we don't respect nothing but like some gangster shit and murder right. like we from it could be rich and nigga be like man fuck that nigga nigga looking at the looking up to the killers like where I'm from that's just how it is. Hey, real tone, it's a Tech Loki said a handful in this video. Let me know what y'all got out of that in the comments below. You feel me? I think it's one more that we watching. So y'all gonna see that on the next video.